this is Johannes. And this is Cinema. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. Welcome back to Keep or Cull, where we play our whole collection of 600 plus 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 board games and decide whether to keep or cull them. And this is another episode of Shelf of Shame Project, which is the kind of spin off series. Like, I know, I love it when we have our own spin off yes, series for our own show. Big. Like, know. oh, we're going to make a spin off series, which is the exact same show, yes. just with different games. Different games. That and all the shows of Keeper Co already have different games, so it's yes. kind of the same thing. But this, this we haven't played before, but we have owned them for a, a lot of them a long time. And yes. some of them for a shorter time. For a shorter time. Yeah, but these are games that we hadn't played before and that we owned before January 1st, 2023. Yes. That's kind of the rules for this That's one, which is a special rules. episode of Keeper Co that you get every month in addition to the other Keeper Co episodes. Because we that's... want to yeah, we want to finish this year. Yes. Just having that said, and the statistics tells us then that we have to play eight to nine games every month to make that happen. We did that the first two months. Yes. Then the third month we played five, mm -hmm. which was bad. Bad. Really? Bad people playing few board games, no fun. How many did we play this time? Twenty. You probably already know because yes. it's probably in the, the thumbnail, yeah, so it's not like. Exciting. Wow! Did that happen? We didn't know. You did because that's kind of the advertisement for this episode yes. to make you watch it. So now we're going to talk about twenty games. Some of them are small. Some of them are bigger. None of them are like super big. Should we just get going? Yes. Let's yeah. talk about games. Uh huh. First game, Sherlock, Death on the 4th of July. Starting off with a pleasant theme tiny, of death and murder. Game. This is kind of like a detective style yes. board game, which you could know by the Solving name. Solving a mystery. Let's do the thing. Yes. One, two, three, boom. I thought when I read the rules for this game that, the, oh, that sounds fun. Because you're uh, playing cards from your hand and you have to like keep or kill them. Haha. <laughs> Um, yeah, keep them or discard them. And you want to keep the relevant information to yes. the case and discard the non-relevant. And you have to guess. I have a question for you. Yes. Was it fun? No, oh. it wasn't. It was very hard. Very and, hard to crack and, this And case. not fun. Yeah. It was like, nah, we don't know what cards. We're just doing something. Um, but it made sense. Like, yes. it was not an illogical thing. It was just that it was not fun. No, I didn't care much for it. We have another game. We're starting with the smaller ones because those are on the top of the pile. If I put this under other games, the pile will fall over. Yes. This is Mint Delivery. Yeah. This is in a series of games in a kind of enlarged mint box. This about is about delivering things. Mm -hmm. Are you yep. ready for the thing? Yes. One, two, three. Boom. This was a boring game. This was just like going through the motion, doing things, which was picking up and delivering, but there was really no strategy. It was just doing the thing that made obvious sense. The good thing, it took 15 minutes. Oh, yeah, that it was, was very like short. the positive thing. But it was not a good game, so it's going on the kill pile. Do you I have agree. anything to add? No, I fully agree with you. Crime Zoom. This Zooming is, in on the crime. Yes, this is also like a uh, uh, mystery solving det yes. detective game. And this is called Bird of Ill Omen. Yes. Because we already played another one called something else. Yes, we this did. This is not the same <laughs> it's one. It's not the same. Yes, so you want to do the paddle. Yes. One, two, three. Boom! I don't know if I should like to. Uh, it's it's a cult because we're not gonna play it again. Yes. This is a one time thing. <clears throat> yeah. But I like this one a lot. It I was really fun. enjoyed this. I think that um, the system that I've created with like uh, uh, cards displaying like a room and you have to like, oh, I wanna investigate that closer. Mm -hmm. You flip that around and it was a good lead or a bad lead. Yep. Uh, you're actually getting like some fin fingerprints, uh, some evidence that was mm -hmm. cool and trying to figure out what happened. I really like this series. Yes, both I, of think, them. I think I could recommend them if you enjoy these kind of yes. shorter detective style games. So this one's good. So yeah, but obviously not going to keep it because it's, it's we have already played game. it. Next up, another detective style game, Pocket Detective. I think we bought it such a spiel in like 2018 or something, maybe mm -hmm. 19. And now we played it. And this is the one. Let's talk about it. Let's do the paddle. Okay. One, two, three, boom. Yes, uh, same kind of thing. I like this one. I think this one was fun. In the same, it was, I think I like the crime zoom mm -hmm. better, but yeah. this was of the other ones we played. I think this is the last one. So yeah. the three we played, this was in the middle. Yeah, I agree. It was, it was fine. Yes, yes. I, I, there is like a bigger box now from Look at the Games. So like this is season one 
case one mm -hmm. and there's like three cases but somebody said this is the best but yeah. uh, i think now you can get it like in a box because oh, this is like self-published nice. cool. from a small publisher next up we have another game this is monster uh, 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 what is this game about oh it's uh, <coughs> um, a weird weird game what is it about monsters in it's a movie? like the theme is like being in a movie but it's an abstract game trying to Place your cards like the, 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 the color you have gotten randomly hidden in your hand. Mm. You want most of those cards to show at the end of the round because mm -hmm. that's going to give you points. And yeah. you want to try to hide what color you have from yeah. the other players. We played it two players, probably better with more. Yeah, but it's, we're, so it's two to six players. Yeah, so actually. two is usually not the best. Let's do the paddle. One, yeah. two, three, boom. I like the concept of yes, this game. It like wasn't it like trying to, okay, I want blue to show the most, mm -hmm. but maybe I should like not make it so obvious so that you only target blue yes. when you're like covering uh, monsters up. So you're trying to like maybe have two, yeah, deduce what the other player have, but also then um, not make it obvious what you have. Yes. I think that would be fun to play with more like in a very chaotic game though. But mm. it's not a keep for me. I no. didn't love it. But I liked it. Like this yes. is one that it was a surprisingly fun game. Mm -hmm. So if you if you do like this kind of like it's a quick playing game, it oh, has yeah. some deduction in it's it. It's like fifteen minutes and it's really, just on the box. So yeah that's a good one. Next up we have another exit game. Uh, these are games that we used to really love the exit mm -hmm. games and they're kind of not getting better uh, So let's do this one. <laughs> this is an uh, upside down now. It wasn't the gate between worlds one two three boom This is also a one-time thing. It is an escape room game if you haven't heard of the exit series before the I think like empty. yeah, we turn it all yes. because it's uh, you're cutting things with scissors you're like bending things and doing yeah, so you're things. destroying the game. It's you can't play it more. It's no. impossible. Especially um, when you threw it in the garbage, yes. you cannot play it again. <laughs> yes, whatever you do. Uh, but I think like uh, the first exit boxes were uh, good, uh, like up and down. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, in the last ones we played, I. I need to stop buying exit games. I feel like because there are so many good games, and exit is just not good enough for for me. No, but we still like them. Yeah, like. And so, but but not we just want them to be as good as they yes, are. Yes, please make better games. <laughs> Next game is Astra. Yes, onto the bigger boxes onto the bigger now. Boxes. Astra is a game about doing star viewing. You look at the stars and then you mark them with a pen, like in real life. And then if you mark the last star in a pen, you get to take the card, and other people get to get points and do things. That is my overview of the game, and now let's do the paddle. Yes. One, two, three, boom. This felt fresh. I like this game. Uh, I think it's cool with um, um, you're trying to have the, like, the majority of stars marked yes. on the card because then you get a good bonus, but it's the last star that gets marked that gets to keep the card, and you're trying to get points. Basically, that's what the game is about. It was a boring game. I thought it was fun, mm. uh, but it's not f fun enough for me to keep because I no. will not play it, but this Oop. was actually... I like this one. We played five players, yes. which was a bit chaotic. Oh, yeah. Because it was very tactical in that way. Mm -hmm. Like, when you yeah. got... If it was my turn, I could take a card, I would probably take a card. Yeah. And if I couldn't take a card, I would probably do something else. Yeah, but, but like, it was... if you have spent a lot of resources marking a lot of stars on that yeah. card already, you maybe will not take it because <coughs> you will get the best bonus. And that you is true. To, like, Choose. But, but it, was, uh, yeah. it was it was fine. Yeah. It was we spent an hour and twenty minutes playing it. That's the time it took. It was a game that we played, and I'm not gonna remember that it exists. Mm -hmm. Next up on the list is a small box again, Aztec. This is one that we uh, got um, from Madigo with other games for a long time ago, and have not had the possibility to play it. I read the rules and it sounded horrible and then I kind of like didn't play it and then I read the rules again I was like yeah it still sounds horrible and we didn't get to play it and then your brother came over and he found some games to play and we played play this. Yeah because he needs to play horrible games mm. apparently. Apparently he was like, like oh let's find something Aha. that he will hate. So we play <laughs> this and now we're gonna do the paddle. Yes. One, two, three, boom. Oh this was fun. Yes. It was a really This was kind of like the, the yeah. twist. Did you see the twist yeah, coming? Yeah, I didn't like, see it because I like, knew. This is gonna be no. Yes. You didn't know I was gonna no, do this. No, but I know that you. Because now it. you're kind of like saying to people that we know. No, what no, no, we don't. But I know that I knew and that you liked world it. And the whole world down. I didn't know that you would keep it. <coughs> nope. I was a little unsure myself because yep. it's like we have so many other games, you know. But I really like this one. Yes. Um, 
it had like a cool um you you draw a card and then it says how many like gems you get and then you can decide to follow the card or just take some other random gems That's and your then name. yeah and then you look at the other players and be like hmm did you really get those gems and you have to like decide if they are bluffing or telling the truth and then you get things based on if you correct wrong or correct so it's, i want to keep it it was fun yeah i, I liked it i, I was like when we started playing, I was like, oh yeah, there is something here, and it was just like silly fun. Yeah. But it was a lot of fun, silly fun. So it's one that I think with more players going to be even more fun. Yes. It's a, it, as, as the same with Monstar, it's, we played it at the, the, the minimum player count, and when a game goes from 3 to 6, it's probably going to be better with 4 or 5 than it is with yeah, 3. Yeah, and also, who doesn't love a good theme about kids robbing like ancient temples? That like, is a weird it's, theme. It's perfect. Next up, we have... Century Eastern Wonders. This is the second game in the Century Trilogy. We never played the third one. I played this once. Uh, but games on this, like Shelf of Shame, is games that you haven't played uh, as well. And because you, we, like, uh, well, like yeah, yeah. either, yes. But this one I had played. I yeah. don't think we own a game that you have played. I haven't played. No. Uh, but this I one you right. didn't, because this came out when you were studying somewhere else and I played it mm -hmm. once and now I played it again. You know the drill. Paddle Let's do thing. the paddle. Yes. One, two, three. Boom! I think that it was all right. Uh, it had like a cool twist on the original game that you're instead of getting cards that lets you convert resources, yeah. you're traveling around and converting on these different islands. That is true. Uh, but I like the original better. Uh, and we and called that. I, we called that, so I'm calling this as well. You're yes, right? yeah. good ending yes. to that sentence. Good. We have other games to talk about. This one, for example, is a game and it's called Solar Sphere. Fair. Solar Sphere. Solar. Solar Sphere. Solar Sphere. I don't sphere. know. Sphere. 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 It is a game uh, about being in space and trying to build things on the sun. I don't know why you wouldn't die. No, you're burning. Yes, no, the theme. It's a very weird thing. Uh, I, I I think it's like in space because uh, and science fiction. So maybe now and now how we will live on the sun. But why? And you're I trying mean, yeah. to do other things as well, but they don't matter. Uh, <laughs> let's do the Oh yeah, let's do it. Thing. One, two, three, boom. It wow. seems that this game is broken. Yeah. Uh, I hope somebody's going to be like, you played it completely I wrong. I hope so. Because we read the rules four times when mm -hmm. we were playing, like, this makes no sense. And we also we checked on BGG and no, like, two people had asked the questions and nobody had answered it. Because, like, there's really no reason to do anything else than just build on the, the place. Because there's so many ways, like, there's actions to get resources, but you can just use something called morale to get those resources that you need to build on the sun. And then when somebody builds adjacent to you on the sun, then you're going to get morale that you're on your next turn than you used to get those resources that you need to build on the sun so you're just going to build on the sun the game is six rounds yeah it ended off the tree yes because we have built a lot mm -hmm. the whole thing and that's the other trigger of the game yeah and five like in um you in, played five players in, yeah in in three rounds uh, we had like done nine actions each yes and seven of those actions for one of our players was building on the sun yeah and there's quite a lot of actions like a lot of things you could do but don't because you can just build on the sun and win yeah. It was, um, it I was, hope we did something wrong. Yeah, but I, I don't know what happened, but we don't have, I have to cool. find out. Yes. It wasn't. I read the rules. Sounds like, oh, this sounds really cool, and I hope we did something wrong. Next up is. Seize the Bean! Seize the Bean! It's a game about coffee in Berlin, a deck building kind of game with different elements, and some of the best components I have ever seen in a board they game. They are amazing. Kind of like with Flamecraft. I just wanted to keep the game just oh, because yeah. of the components. They're so beautiful. This is like, and, and here you have these kind of resin, uh, uh, you have coffee, beans that you can take with oh, a little yeah. thing. A little and, spoon. And sooner I can cheat and try to do it many times <laughs> yes. until she gets as many as she yeah, wants to. Yeah, because you can like add a dexterity element. And you also have these very cute sugar cubes. Yes, yeah, just, they like, look like sugar. They look, you want to eat the them. whole game, the production is amazing. But is the game good hmm. or is it bad? Let's find out next time on Kino. Okay, let's Bye. see it now. Okay. One, two, three, boom. I thought the game was fine, yeah. but for me, nothing more. Um, I wanted to love it so yeah, bad because to, of the yes, components. They were so beautiful components. I was like, please be amazing, and it was fine. Yes, but I think like um, 
it will sit on the shelf if we we keep it. We will not play no, it. No, we no. will just like look at the game and be like, oh, those beautiful so resources. Good. Yeah. And we can so put them on the shelf and look at somebody them. Somebody else can get to play this game yeah, instead. Yeah, that is true. That's how it works. Next up, we have a big game called Mosaic, a story of civilization. Cool. This is a game we did a preview of it. So we kind of played a prototype, but we have decided to add all the games that we know our own retail copies of, yes. or like the, the actual copies of, to the Shadow of Shame, because uh, games can change and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm, Mosaic is like a very card-driven uh, civilization game, kind yes. of. It has kind of like Terraforming Mars vibes about you have these tags, which is a huge part of the game, trying mm. to get them. Uh, yeah, let's do the paddle yes, thing. Yes, let's do it. One, two, three, boom! I thought this was fun, yes, but for I like me, it. yeah, I like it. It just took a little long time for me uh, yeah. personally. You have these decks of cards that uh, will like you have to reach some points of those decks mm -hmm. for the game to end, yeah. or everything's like you get points for like these milestones basically has to be taken. In the milestones, the gold age bonuses yes. and the money man. So of everything you did in the game, I liked. I liked the yes. area, area majority. I liked collecting the tags. I liked trying to reach the different goals mm -hmm. and also building up your little cities and towns and get the, these trade goods. I liked it. I just thought like at the end of the game, oh, it's nothing more to do. I like when the game is like, cuts me off and I still want but no, a bit don't tighter, finish the yeah. game now, I have to do more stuff and it didn't feel like that. No, and I know a lot of people love this and it is yes. for a lot of people and I think that is like the main reason for me to call it, yes. is that somebody else will enjoy it more than I did and will have more funny, fun, more funny stuff, more, more funny fun, fun with this copy, <laughs> like, and as you know, like these games that we like playing for the first time are easier to cull because yes. they haven't kind of been in the collection yet. Yeah. So I, 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 we are culling this and other games like Seize the I could have kept. Yes. Uh, because it's so nice and I liked it kind of enough. I know somebody else will enjoy it more. So as we talked about last time, like why am I keeping this a hostage mm -hmm. on the shelf and just like getting dust when yeah. somebody can enjoy the game? Yes. And that is kind of my mind. There's my, so my, many games. I'm trying to think that way more and more these days. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah. You're looking for... Uh -huh. See it in your eyes. Connect and flights. flights. The game that Keeps Wendy and Chris on the Dice Tower loved no. so much. No. I think they gave it like a four and yes. a two or it was something. Not good. Uh, but did we like it? That is actually, we don't care about Wendy or, well, we care about you, but you know. Okay, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. It, mm hmm. Calling day! Yeah, it, it, yeah, we're calling a lot today. Uh, but it's easier, as you said, to call the new games. Um, but but I would have called this if it was yeah, an old game as well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I didn't care too much for this game. I liked some aspects of it. Like, you have yes. to have a, a good enough plane for the passengers and you have to deliver them to uh, a what you call it? airport. Yes. <laughs> like, Flight station? No, Flight that, station. Is, that is not the right word. Uh, and you have to uh, like match like a pattern, and you want to, if you could, like travel multiple times in the same like boop to boop, boop to boop in the same boop to boop. I don't know. The problem with this game for me, sorry, were you? No, not, it's my own. Uh, the problem like... with this game is one, it's very random. Yeah. Like, oh, I want a level two customer. Let's hope one shows up that wants to go to where I want it to go which is random and then it also has this super fun thing which you got to enjoy a lot mm -hmm. sabotage Yay. which we don't usually like and, and you were like oh no you can't do this and you can't do that i think you still won but yeah uh, it was but it wasn't fun it was just a a fine game i don't and this is the deluxe edition you could, i think you could what does that mean sabotage, is but... there anything in this that sounded deluxe I this is know. the deluxe edition i don't know why this is deluxe it, it's a game i it's don't recommend game. it but it is here. But it is a game. Soon not. Now it's my turn. This yes. is another game. Oh, oh. it's called Pieces. Space Alert. Space Alert from Brothers Bottle. We really like uh, Vladis Kings most yes. of the time. There's so many different games. Yes. And Space Alert is a real-time cooperative game about you being very bad at running a space station. We played it five players. Uh, we played three games of it so that we because this is one game that you cannot really play once and then understand no. it. We played tr three times, it's didn't understand hard. it. No. And now we're going to do the paddle. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three, boom. 
Um, <laughs> oh, I was thinking you were going to do key for this one. Really? Yes. I, I, this was so hard. Yes, and it but is, hard isn't bad. No, like... but hard is bad when you, you have a hobby that is playing a lot of different games and not the same game over yeah. again. Because yeah. as we uh, talked about right after we played it, if you have like a game group and you get really good at like communicating and like delegating um, tasks, I think you could like have a lot of fun with this game. Yes. But we were just like, I'm going up in the elevator. But we got better. What? Like the first yes. round, we did nothing. I'm trying to fire off this cannon, but oh, there's no energy because no one has refilled that. And so it's very hard, but I thought it was a fun game. Yeah. And this is like a, I, I don't think like this is a, I, th I think it's out of print, but, uh, and this is a brand new copy basically. Yeah. Because we punched it yesterday. Yes. I don't know when, why we got it or why, because it was Vodge Bottle. Yes, uh, but it's but, a yeah. long, we have kept this It's on your time. side now, oh, on the other side of the call pile now. if you can find the game. It's so many games on my side, you have one over there. Aha, next up we have Dune House Secrets. Yes. The detective game from Portal Games. If mm -hmm. you go to BGG, you can see why we haven't played this for now because it ha I think like it's like a five on board game geek and to be a five on board game geek people do not like this game mm -hmm. and we played just the tutorial mission because time and yes yeah, so spoiler alert yes liked it a lot let's do one let's two three do the paddle thing. one two three boom <laughs> <laughs> We love Detective, we really do. The uh, first like Detective, the detective box, box. One of the best experiences. It's in my amazing. Life. Like what it lacks in great actors and like cliffhanger trailers for the next episode in a real like show on TV. Yeah. It makes up for in like you're making the decisions yourself. Yes. And you feel really involved. They have taken all that away in these later games and it takes just away so much of what I love from Detective. Mm. So I don't really consider this a detective game. No, no. no. Um, I don't care too much for this one. Might have like a cool story but it, this is not what I want from a game. Many people have said it's not a game. Because you have no decisions. No. You have like there are decisions. Decisions. And they now add it like so if they they Portal Games is good at listening to their customers. Yes. That is something that Portal Games does an amazing job at. And they have added now a kind of question part at the end. It's still not good, but it's it's better mm -hmm. than like the other version, which was just like meh. Uh, we checked both of the endings on yes. the first scenario. And of course, it could have ballooned us away playing the rest of it, but we don't have time. No. So, yes. if somebody wants to play this... We still have like an, a detective expansion that doesn't get played, so I would rather play that. Next up, we have an older game. This is like 20, 2001, I think, so it's 22 years old. Traders of Genoa, it's now known just as Genoa. This is one of the older uh, Alia games, number six in the Alia Big Box series. We played it, now we're gonna do something about it. One, two, three, <laughs> boom! We're gonna kill it yes. because this is a fine game that just goes on for too long. We played a five player game and I enjoyed the things that we did in the game. Yes. And if the game had been like an hour to 90 minutes, mm -hmm. it would have been a fun game. Mm -hmm. But it was three hours and not because we were super slow at doing things, but just because the game is very long. With five players, the game is seven rounds long. But if you roll dice at the beginning of the round and you end up in the middle of the board, it's going to be one less round. But that never happened. So you but could we, like decide to do it, and that happened at the, the end. Yeah, One we player was just like, "Oh, let's stop playing this game," <laughs> and they did that, and it was a fine game. I, it was, it was nothing. This is a negotiation game, like or, or trading. trading and it is kind of an auction, but but kind of not. Yeah. and it really isn't a good match with our group. Yeah. we're bad at these things, mm -hmm. and I think that is a very like individual thing. So if you're into negotiation games, then drag on for a little too long i think you should check this one out <laughs> okay next up is on my side i it think is. oh it's it's a very big pile so it's hard to get over it oh and it's a big game as well time of empires time of empires this is one that came out last year and it came out of nowhere basically it is from pearl games isn't it I don't know. It is Pearl, Pearl Games. Games yeah. And I think that means it's the last game from Pearl Games, which is oh. kind of sad. Uh, because they are now, they were a part of Asmodee mm -hmm. and they decided to not do that anymore. Oh. So, uh, and they made some great games over the years. Twa, for example. Yeah, 
for example, yeah, uh, which is the best one. And um, Tango Empires, I basically saw Rado do a video of this, mm -hmm. and it looked interesting. Yeah, because mm -hmm. everything Rado talks about looks amazing. That is true. Uh, but this one piqued my interest a bit more than other games, and uh, we bought it. Uh, or I bought it, and we. Yes, I read did. the rules. Yes. I, I opened up the rule book, read you all of the. Teach it to me. A taught. That's uh, yes. if you. Oh, yeah, sorry. I taught it to you. Norwegian that, brain. No, I in, slept uh, while you. Yes. Taught and it. then it was real time. Yes. And was it fun? We will see hmm. on the kill pile. Okay. One, two, three, boom. I thought it was fun. Oh, we have our first disagreement. Hmm. Which is nice when we have like sixty games. Oh yes. <laughs> Uh, what did you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And it was one of the few games that we played uh, this week where I was like, okay, this is unique enough. This is kind of like if Pendulum was good. Oh, yeah, I get what you mean. I, I think like the use of the time mechanism in this game was working very nicely. You uh, did get to do a lot of things. So it felt sometimes very stressful. What mm -hmm. I didn't like um, wrap my head around was all the movement on the map because you, yeah, you had short time if you wanted to utilize your yes. your sand timers in a great way. But but it was fun. Yeah, and, and uh, a little chaotic. I think I want to keep this for now. Uh, yeah. It is one that. I would love to play with more players because oh, yes, there's only with two. two. Because I think it worked really well with two. Mm. It's like if you like real time games and if you like civilization games and if you have a problem playing civilization games because you're only two players, this worked really well as a two player civilization game. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun and it's a short game. You can play it in under an hour. Like you have three of these timed things that is nine, nine minutes each. Yeah. And so an hour is like a perfect time and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, cool. And I would like to play it a Again. Nice, we're keeping I'm that one for now. Yeah, because we... <laughs> Until next time. Next time. Next up, we have World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King, which is a pandemic system game, uh, which means it is a co-op game, mm -hmm. and it's a pandemic-style game, mm -hmm. which is two things that should make me hate it. Yeah, so this is an instant kill from you, I presume. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's do the keep or kill paddle thing. Yes. One, two, three. Boom! Ha! Huh. But it's almost a keep. It was. Good. It was so. It was really enjoyable. Like this for me is Thumbs up. way better than Pandemic. Oh yeah. And if you don't have to care about World of Warcraft, we we have played World of Warcraft for like two days, uh, so it's not like something that you need to know. But it is. It is like it. It takes some of the elements from World of Warcraft and makes them less random mm -hmm. and then they added dice to make like it a bit more random so that you don't like it's not a pre, pre it's not deterministic but it is one that like if i liked co-op games more than i do yeah this would be one that i would like to play more oh yeah this was a very enjoyable what i liked about it is that you're trying to the goal of the game is to complete quests mm -hmm. and you do that by going to the quest place and rolling some dice and you can also add like symbols from your hand because you have yep. like the hand of cards that you do in pandemic but what you usually use your cards for are like healing traveling um, battling to keep like all the what do you call it? the ghouls at bay so that is instead of curing like the sickness you're using your cards to or and dice to fight off ghouls so so you don't lose so you're trying to just like control the board and focus on the quests so what i really like that is instead of like oh you have a blue card over there i need to collect it the cards felt like they had another meaning. This was just like overall super enjoyable. Yes. Yeah, this is like almost a keep. Yes, it's, it's the closest to a keep that I, I, I have a call over here. Is this okay. your last one? Yes, it's the last it's, one. And I have one as well, so two more games to go on the longest episode in a long while. Yes, or maybe there the was a lot of games. Ever. Uh, campaign Camp Trail. Campaign Trail, a, a real majority game, a team-based game if you're playing with more than three or four players with the expansion about the American election. Mm -hmm. Trying to win the election by being the coolest candidate. Okay, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, boom. I like this one. Um, mm. I didn't get like a hmm, um, true sense of if I wanted to keep or kill it in the future. No. Nope. But I, what I know is that I need to just play it again. Okay. So I want to keep it for now. Yeah. Because I really felt, I don't know, 
a lot of the about the American uh, like almost nothing. Yeah, yeah, very little. But what I know is, uh, from what I know, this felt very thematic. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to uh, travel around or do other things to get votes in the different states. And if the majority of the votes are from my party, I get to, like all of the the points from that state, and mm -hmm. I want to have like the most points at the end of the game, like the the most delegates i think i, I don't think. know yeah uh, but it is uh, possible to play this with teams and that is what we did mm. i think for me this is like if you're playing teams i would think it's nice to have like the same amount of people on the persons. teams yeah yes it's people versions on the teams uh, but i like this one I, I thought that, like, if we go to play it again, and we probably are because we're keeping it, uh, we... I would like to play without teams, like playing yeah. it with, with one... The, for me, the problem was it was like, it's a huge board, and if you don't know geography in the United States yes. of America, it's going to be a hassle to play the game, because you always have to look where is everything, even though there are good place on the map, on the cards that you have, you can see where they are. Mm -hmm. It was very hard for me to get my mind on where is everything. And also then, one side of the map, one side of your country, is all these states. And yeah, one is like so few tiny. states. So I it's know, very... that's not your fault, but it was not very practical in this board game. And this is one again, one game where the deluxe components makes the game harder to play. Mm -hmm. Because the normal game, you get small pieces that you put on them when you have voters. Uh, in this one, you get these huge wooden pieces. And when the, the state is this big and you place 60 tiles on it, you don't know where they are. It just looks yeah. like a... a a, a like a flush of these tiles everywhere so it's hard to understand where things are which i don't like and then it made it and it was also it was late when we played it so i will give it another chance yeah. we will put it on the key oh you decide so, but i i yeah. i agree with you that we can give it another chance is what i was trying to say cool. next up and last for today on this short episode is first rot this is another game actually I played and you didn't play because I bought this in Thailand when I was there in December and I played it once with my mother and father and that was like in 26 degrees or 30 degrees and now I played it in like 14 degrees. These are Celsius. If you think Fahrenheit, it's gonna be way worse. <laughs> so yeah, we play this now. Three players, do you like it? We will see. One, two, three, boom. I like this. I I think the race feeling is, is absolutely in, uh, a part of this game. But what I really liked about it is trying to place your rats uh, tactically or strategically or like good in this or like good in this like one way street. Yep. It is a one way street so that you can move more rats at once and trigger more of these um, spaces. Actions. And you want to get chase. You wanted to get like resources to build a rocket because you're going to the chase moon. You're trying um, to. And you're trying also to get like some bonus other things on the way. I'm <laughs> theme. <laughs> uh, but I really like this one. I was. I'm actually surprised about it was fun and fast and cute. Yeah, this is a great game. This is one game that is super nice because it is a gateway style game. Mm -hmm. So you can teach it to, to almost all people. But I think most gamers even like, like this is a great light game with nice decisions, short playing time, plays up to five players and it's just like fun. Yes. It is one that I was hugely surprised by the first time I played it and liked it even better the second time I played it. So it is a one that we actually recommend a lot if Absolutely. you are looking for games in that category. We are going to do like the best and worst, but if you enjoyed this video where we talked about 20 games and we played these in like almost... In, in, in 10 days, I think we play these games. Oh. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if we can even fit all the games on screen. No, I don't think so, but I'm more trying. games. If you enjoy what we are doing, then you can help us out in a big way by giving us a victory point. And you might be asking, how do we do that? Soon as ready with a tutorial. We get victory points when you click the subscribe button, so please help, beep, 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 help beep, beep, beep. us out. Let's uh, talk about the yes. best game. And if you I'm... already are a subscriber, you can get a coin yes <laughs> like this is not a like video game reference you can help us get a coin so we can buy stuff by go leaving a comment yeah, liking, the, liking video the video because Thank that you. is nice and we like it when people like us we so like best you. and worst experience go ahead the best was first rats yes i just I... had so much fun with that i'm gonna choose then 
Time of Empires is oh, something else. Mix but it up. It's kind of between those two. A worst experience, I think, was actually Solar Sphere because it just like it felt so broken. Oh, Mint Delivery was so Mint super boring. Mint Delivery, yes. a super boring yeah, game where you do nothing but minting delivery. It's a boring oh, I'm looking game. Looking forward to I the, don't the publisher adding that <laughs> as their official song for the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. We are gonna probably not play this many games from the Step of Shame next time, but uh, hopefully you enjoy all the videos that are coming. And uh, that's it. Yes. I'm Johannes, I'm and you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye bye.